time now for our Sunday specials. Artificial insemination is receiving renewed attention in dairy cows gradually in Kano State, northwest Nigeria. The technology maximizes animals' productivity and harvests individual sires with traits of superior quality. In this special report, TVC News correspondent Ibrahim Isa examines the practice and how it is maximizing meat and milk production in Kano State. Nigeria is a resourceful country and dealt with what is estimated as the largest livestock population in Africa. The livestock sector has a significant role in driving socio-economic activities in the country and contributes substantially to the national economy. But the development of this sector is hampered by different constraints, one of which is the inability to provide adequate milk and meat for human consumption and trade. The federal and state government, as well as herders themselves, feel there is need for a measure that will uplift the business of milk and meat production in the country. Artificial insemination is one of the solutions they are keen into. Artificial insemination is the deposition of semen into the female genital tract by means of instruments. This makes possible the mating of animals with great differences in size without injury to either of the animal, thereby increasing the rate of conception. In Kano, Northwest Nigeria, herders and their children are now being trained on how to effectively conduct insemination. Muhammad Umar, one of the herders who has begun receiving the training sees a bright future in the quest of providing meat and milk to the populace. They come and train us on insemination. We have seen it. We are hopeful that we would practice it soon. Though he is yet to practice the new technology, he gathers his cattle every morning, he inspects them with keen interest, with the hope that sooner or later he would be counted amongst others who have excelled in the business of providing adequate amounts of milk and meat to his customers. By God, they have told us the good side of insemination. We believe it is going to be a reality. Already the herders here and many others who partake in the artificial insemination breeding training say growth in the use of technology is generally strong and conception rate not very low. Almost Everywhere in the continent, uh, let's start with Africa, uh, the countries in Africa, they graph their development through this genetic improvement project. So we are seeing it as like a green revolution towards the livestock sector in Nigeria. We we'll observe that our local animals can only produce one to three liters maximum. And so, but with an improved breed, through the crossing of hosting Jesse or exotic breeds with our local animals, we can get at the first generation between 10 to 15 liters make production. The Kanu government had trained 60 youth in artificial insemination in Turkey. The youth practice their new trade at the State Insemination Center in Kadawa village. One of the trainees believes a lot needs to be provided for them and many others so that artificial insemination can thrive in the state. Uh, my advice is uh, we need more retraining so that uh, to implement uh, artificial insemination. Even this um, issue of uh, palmers uh, Riara's clash, uh, artificial insemination can be used uh, to curtail uh, that means. The federal government, through the Ministry of Agriculture, is complementing efforts of the Kano government in this regard. It has launched a special program on insemination training for more headsmen in Kano. There can be no better times than now for this program to come on board because of our national security is currently threatened by Hayden and the pre complex, banditry and the cattle wrestling with the relative depletion of our national herd, creating fear 
and loss of, of sources of livelihood for Nigerians who depend on agriculture for their sustainers. One of the major problems Nigeria has begun grappling with over the years is the farmer headers crisis. This dispute has led to loss of lives and property on a daily basis. With the certification spreading, headers are now under increased pressure to find the right posture for their livestock. They sometimes encroach on farmlands, destroying farmers' crops. Farmers would respond in anger, leading to loss of lives and property. Authorities in Kano believe providing shelter, establishing milk and meat markets for the herdsmen, and above all, teaching them artificial insemination for their growth. The future is bright. It is clear testimony of His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Kano State, Dr. Abdullahi Umar Gandhi, the administration, commitment in modernizing and uplifting agriculture, particularly the livestock sector in the state. This informs a decision by the government to sponsor 67 poster rallies on the overseas training on artificial insemination program, upgrade of Kadawa and Ambata Livestock Improvement and Breeding Center to Artificial Insemination Center. Modern ideas and ways of life make humankind better. Century-old traditions often give way to new ways of doing things that deliver the greater joy. Both authorities and the herdsmen are happy to lead the way in enthroning a new culture of insemination, which will greatly impact on the economy and ensure the safety and welfare of the herder. Hetzman here and many others across Kano State are optimistic that artificial insemination would improve positively on their lives. Ibrahim Isa, TVC News, Kano.